This coffee claims to be the best coffee you'll ever drink. Here we have the Big Cat Blend from Stella Blue Coffee. So Stella Blue was founded by the man colloquially known as Big Cat from Barstool Sports. And the Stella in Stella Blue is a tribute to his dog Stella so that when Stella passes, the memory of his dog can be remembered throughout the ages. Stella Blue was brewed up and ready to go. Ready to go, so cheers my friend. Let's give it a nice whiff. whiff. Nice. So it smells very interesting, uh, mm. I'm getting very peppery notes, like spicy notes. So this claims to be a medium roast. I'll be honest, this smells more like a dark roast and the coloration of the beans was more akin to that of a medium dark to a dark roast. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Strong notes of like graham cracker, like cinnamon. You get some very fruity notes as well. Not, not too much though. Like you get some, I should say. You get some fruity notes, a little bit yeah, barely. of like, a little bit of black pepper. And I would say the graham cracker is what stands out the most. Like you get like the cinnamon kind of graham cracker hits you right away and it sort of just lingers there. And uh, the fruitiness doesn't linger very long. It's sort of a passing thought a bit in the, in the coffee. And then you just get a little bit of like that black pepper finish that also just lingers a tiny bit on the palate. Yeah, it's very earthy. It is very earthy. It is on the darker side, of course. Some flavors of malt. Yep. I, I can see that. Maybe grain. Uh, definitely the peppery taste is definitely there in a good yeah. way. I, I actually like the peppery taste. It's nice. The graham cracker is nice. I do wish the fruit would linger a bit more because I actually like the fruit, the, the little fruit portion that you get. It's nice. The fruit notes are kind of like a like a muted fruit, like a yeah, like a papaya or something like that, right? It's not like a Berry or you know, it's not very It's juicy. not like a juicy. Oh, wait, is papaya a berry? Yeah, it's it's not a juicy uh, berry forward acidity. It's just something that's more passing. It's it's not uh, so much like a strawberry or a blueberry or you know a, a kiwi. It's something a bit more muted, like maybe something like a, a dragon fruit you'd get from the store. Really, not a lot of fruit here in here. More earthy, dark chocolatey, nutty, yeah. earthy flavors. It's uh, pretty decent coffee here. Um, I could see it being used as a daily driver perhaps in your routine. If, if this is something that uh, you'd be interested in here, if you're a fan of Barstool Sports, and uh, if you want a coffee that's actually pretty decently priced too, then go ahead and check out Stella Blue. I will say one thing that's I'm noticing as I'm drinking this cup here, I'm getting more and more juiced up. You feel that? Getting a yeah, little, I think so. Started talking a little bit faster, you know, getting a little bit more excited about life. My depression is going away. Yeah, temporarily. So yeah, temporarily. As always, just yeah. as long as I have this in my hand. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> Neurons firing, you know, dopamine excreting, or uh, however that works. Axons functioning as they should, yeah. rather than just like per standard, per usual. Yeah, what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. Myelin protein sheets sinking. Reuptake inhibited. Listen, good job. Yeah, good job on this. Sure. You you managed to like hold our attention with your coffee and yeah. uh, you know go check out Stella Blue. It's it's really good. Pleasantly surprised. We, we were very pleasantly surprised. So have you tried Big Cat's coffee? Are you a fan of Barstool Sports? Let us know in the comments below. Also, please go ahead and consider subscribing. It helps us out a whole lot and it helps us make more content like this as well. In the spirit of our channel and of our well wishes to you, to your family, to your loved ones, everybody at Barstool Sports even. And even dogs. Especially dogs. Keep using your, your whole brain. brain.